29 RKS J Flight by Jayco here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, keep in mind as we go through this, this trailer is pretty loaded with almost every optional piece of equipment available to it. Not every single 29 RKS we carry will look exactly like this one. So if the video looks different from the pictures, the pictures probably represent the actual unit. This is here to sort of just be educational. So let's get dug in because there's a lot to talk about on the number one selling travel trailer for 10 straight years since 05 and counting. The J Flight by Jayco has been the number one selling travel trailer. Why? Um, it is loaded with basically some of the, the best features and, and uh, things available in its class. For instance, we have a big awning here. Now, uh, a recent thing they've added is this handy little remote control system. The glare outside is pretty rough, so you probably won't be able to see this. But you have all sorts of things, like you can operate your slide, you can operate your awnings, you can operate everything right here. So you can keep this thing in your pocket, never have to leave your campsite, uh, handle your awnings, you know. Uh, what's really nice, what I like about it, is when you are setting up your campsite solo, if you're trying to make sure you have clearance for your slide out, one person with this remote control can walk around over here, they can activate the slide out button, and they can see, they can line of sight to make sure that that slide out is going to be um, in a safe, secure position. Right here, one person wirelessly can control this thing. It's just very cool. It's very cool to be able to do that. Um, let me skip back to the other side. Now, obviously, the fiberglass skin is not a standard thing on a J-Flight. That is an upgrade that we've put on here. It looks super sharp. I mean, just clean. It just looks clean on the outside. Now, to complement that, the fiberglass skin upgrade also includes the cool frameless windows. They look super sweet, and the seal is hidden under the window pane. And as the sticker here would kind of indicate, Jayco's have twice the warranty of pretty much anything else in their class. It is a true two-year warranty. A lot of other manufacturers have a highly limited second-year warranty. It's not a true two-year. Their baggage doors are wider, taller, specifically taller, and they, they match on both sides of the trailer. You don't get a smaller door on the other side. And you see that your pass-through storage goes actually clear under the bed into the bedroom. That's your propane tank cover, by the way. We've already pulled that away for storage. Um, even up here on the tongue, there's plenty to talk about. They have an extended diamond plate. Be be because of the way that their tongue, the A-frame here, it actually goes through the frame and welds directly to the I-beam. It's a little stronger that way. What they do is they pull this diamond plate down further to give a nice, clean, skirted look. And it just helps from uh, rock chips hitting that frame and, uh, you know, initiating premature corrosion. Um, not to mention, it looks cool, too. <laughs> Um, we are uh, prepped for solar up here. This is set for a solar suitcase. Long story short, just a little battery trickle charger uh, if you're going to be in storage or off the beaten path for a while. Power tongue jacks, nice upgrade we put on here. You saw with the power running complementing that. Um, this has Jayco's thermal package on it. Non-standard feature we've added to this. Uh, enclosed insulated underbelly, insulated slide outs, extra insulation in the roof. A lot of manufacturers are enclosing underbellies today. They're not adding extra insulation. They're not insulating slides. They're not insulating roofs. That's where the J Flight shows supreme. Um, we have an outside shower, a little outside utility shower built right in here so that uh, you, know, you can hose off grandkids and things like that. Windows and lights are two of the most expensive things in an RV. Windows that open cost even more. So not only do they have windows on the side walls or slide outs, they do vent for uh, you know just su superior airflow, basically. Man, I love, I like the exterior of these. They've really dressed them up nicely. Um, let's see, what else do we got going on here? Um, oh, oversized downspouts. Um, the way the, uh, that, that oversized downspouts, by the way, help uh, keep black streaks from collecting on the trailer. Though that's another benefit of the smooth skin um, that we've put on this is that it wipes off a lot like a dry erase board. You see a roof ladder on here because this has Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system. Long story short, not just walkable, tap danceable if you are so inclined. It is very, very strong. Same roof system they use in their Pinnacle fifth wheels. The biggest, baddest fifth wheel they make at Jayco has the exact same roof construction as this travel trailer. That's the thing. They don't skimp on construction at all, anywhere. We've upgraded this one to feature aluminum wheels. Um, the Elite package found on the RV in this video also includes a suspension upgrade, Moride CRE 3000 suspension. It is a rubber shock dampening system. Long story short, while this isn't a fun thing to look at, it is a fun thing to have behind you when you're towing because it's going to help absorb a lot of that chucking when you're going down the road. Like if you hit railroad tracks or speed bumps, you're pulling into a gas station and you feel like you're getting jerked back and forth like somebody's stabbing the brakes on your rapid fire. This helps prevent that and soak that. You know, just little things too. 
like a bigger entry handle. And the fact that Jayco's have a wider entry door. You don't think about that stuff when you're just out looking for campers, but you feel this. Every single day you feel this when you go camping. Uh, dry weight on this one is uh, 7,432 pounds, by the way. So um, keep in mind, a lot of these rear kitchens in, in family class campers, they tend to be more in the 27 foot range. This is a little more in the 29 foot. They did give you a little bit bigger and more. That does mean a little bit extra weight, obviously, but you, man, it's nice to have inside. One thing I love, you walk in, bang, all LED lights, all on one big switch. So they're LEDs, they're a little bit brighter than incandescent, uh, they're far more reliable. You're not gonna need to replace these constantly. And they're just really easy to individually kick on and off. We do have central air in here, not uncommon in this class, but Jayco does spend a little bit of extra money to give you a little um, quick chill grill here. If you open that up, all your cold air dumps right here in the living room to get you cooled off when you first get there. Close it shut and it runs air through your whole central AC system. I didn't, shoot, I didn't look to see what the color scheme on this was before I started shooting this video, so pardon me. But again, remember, if you don't like the way the fabrics look here, watch, just click through to our website and double check our pictures uh, because there's a good chance that the next one we have in stock might have a different color scheme. This is a really cute um, light colored leatherette, by the way. Um, so this can fold down into a little sleeper. Dinette can fold into a sleeper. So you can easily fit a couple extra people here if you need to. Under your dinette, they, they spend a little bit of extra money to give you these little extra drawers. Now another neat thing here, this is something that, it's a classic thing that's coming back, is a little under dinette tote system here. These are, this doesn't seem like much, but again, it's one of these things, you're going to find use for this almost every day. That's my phone dinging. I always forget to put that on vibrate. Um, those totes are waterproof. You know, they're good for grandkids. Toys, blankets, extra little stuff like that. Take them inside, outside. Doesn't matter. They're just easy. Now, one of the things, when I back up here, people always say, man, this just feels way bigger than a lot of the other little rear kitchens I've been in. And again, remember this floor plan is a little bit longer, but remember that J-Flights are taller. Average camper is 78 inches tall inside. This is 81. Three inches doesn't sound like a lot until you realize you're getting three inches more cabinet space, three inches more headroom in the shower, three inches more headroom everywhere, three inch taller slide outs. Because you have a taller roof, you can have taller slide outs. And that to me is why a flat 81 inch roof is better than a 78 inch roof with the big barreled arch ceiling. I don't mind that arch. It's better than 78 inches with a flat roof. I think this is the best way to go. And I think that's one of the reasons this is the number one seller out there. Another thing I mentioned before, but all the windows open for ventilation. They are very generous with windows and lights in these. This rear kitchen is so chock full of storage. It's just not even funny. Uh, four of these massive full extension drawers going on here. All plywood box construction. So basically you're not going to have to worry about your drawers falling apart because you overloaded them unless you get really, really silly. Big floor to ceiling pantry going on here. Now the refrigerator standard in a J flight is eight cubic foot. That's 33% larger than the standard fridge and pretty much any other travel trailer. Um, the uh, upgrade that you have to pay for if it's even available from other brands is the standard refrigerator from a J flight. Uh, Elite package is adding the skylight above the kitchen here. Now, if you don't want to be an ant under a magnifying glass, well, they thought of that too. Tons of overheads. I love that little accent hutch right there. I love that. Big storage. Now this big cabinet right here is sweet. They double shelved it so you actually have twice the storage space that you think you have just by looking at it. And notice that these doors here really, really well put together. You are never going to hurt for counter space. Um, rear kitchens offer more cabinet space and more counter space than anything else in their class. That's why they're super popular. Now they've done a really good job of including smart little like outlets here and there in convenient locations. So you could set a grill here, you could set a phone charger. You have extra um, outlets back in this corner to um, power like um, coffee makers and blenders and things like that. You know, they've just done a great job. Even your standard kitchen hardware is going to be better in here, you know. Um, let's see here. Pretty much, I think we've covered enough of the kitchen. These chairs, these are um, individual lay down recliners. They are very comfortable. And actually, they're one of the things I love about rear kitchens. Rear kitchens, everything is pointed toward the middle. These chairs point toward the middle. These chairs point toward the middle. People aren't necessarily focused on just the TV in this one. This is a very social uh, floor plan. It's great for entertainers. Everybody knows the party ends in the kitchen. Well, you know, the kitchen's part of it. You're in the mix. You don't have to feel like the party has to move or anything. If if you like to have folks over and play cards or something or shoot the breeze, this is the floor plan. The other thing I like about these 
is the way the chairs and the windows are located. Um, a lot of people like their rear living rooms, and don't get me wrong, they're cool, because you get this giant window and a couple recliners. Well, I get that here in a rear kitchen too, but instead of my windows and recliners facing the back of the trailer, which is probably sitting next, which is like back to back to another trailer behind it, I'm looking out under the awning. I'm looking at my campsite. I'm looking at the land that I, I, I purchased here, you know. This is why I like rear kitchens. It just makes more sense to me. Um, handy little stuff like a shoe garage. This is not the reason to buy Jayco. It's all those little things that add up. That's why so many people buy J-Flights. It's all the little day-to-day -day stuff. They actually, I don't know how you get this job. I want to be this guy. They have a guy called a campsite auditor. Every one out of six trailers at Jayco, he hooks up to it, takes it down to a campsite, and pretends to camp in it for the day. He cooks his lunch in it. You know, he tries it out. And he says, you know, it'd be really neat if we had maybe an extra outlet here or something like that. You can tell these are not just built by an engineer, but they're monitored by people that go camping. Um, electronics here, they're superior in a J-Flight. First of all, notice that there is no bad seat in the house because this TV can face anywhere you want it because it's on a double-jointed swing arm. Secondly, we're looking at Furion Electronics. Furion stuff is just better. Um, if you see this name, then you know that you can shake this TV a lot harder before it fails. It can get hotter and colder. Same with the stereo. Same with the outside speakers. This is this does everything. AM, FM, CD, DVT. It's Bluetooth enabled. This actually has a microphone. You can place wireless hand-free calls through your camper from your cell phone. How cool is that? That's, that's just cool. I'm a gadget nerd, though, so that stuff gets me excited. Now, little detail stuff. This is the stuff I look for. They put a little doorstop here so that you're not going to bash a hole in your wall or anything like that. They have a, a double-access bathroom so that if you're sleeping at night and you do have a guest, say, on the sofa or the dinette, they can come and go, or your, your nighttime guest can come and go without having to go through your bedroom to get there. Um, we have nicer hardware here. We've got porcelain stool with a foot flush, not a plastic toilet. Plenty of leg room, plenty of leg room, even for a big tall guy like me. My toes barely touch the shower, so I'm definitely not doing bathroom yoga to get in here. We also have a nice linen space here in the bathroom. Plenty of space for extra towels, and you can even stuff quite a few beach towels in there if you're so inclined, as well as lots of space under the sink for things like toilet paper. Now, because this camper is taller, a tall guy like me can stand in the shower without my head in the bubble. If you watched any of these, then you'll know I'm probably about 6'3-ish because I talk about it all the time. Um, let's see, moving on here to the bedroom. First of all, full access under bed storage on twin struts to make this easy get in and out of. Also, this is a good way to see how this is kind of built. This is plywood. There's no OSB. There's no particle board used in this trailer whatsoever. It's just an inferior product. Let me push this down. Uh, bedding. Anywhere you sleep in a Jayco. Whether it's a normal camper like this or a bunkhouse, they spend more on their, their mattresses. This is a Denver Pillow Top Residential Mattress. Is it the sleep number that you spent $3,700 on? No. If you, <laughs> you wouldn't want to pay for it. But the uh, in, as far as campers go, this is one of the best mattresses you're going to find. They spend more money on it. Um, the... Uh, Cabinets, they have overhead, not just shelves, but actual cabinets, uh, are significantly deeper and larger than you get from most brands. You see they have the two individual reading lights underneath. Both sides of the bed have stands with outlets. This side of the bed not only has a standard household outlet, but also USB and cigarette lighter, or 12-volt plugs, whatever you want to call it. You can throw a flat screen here on the wall if you want some extra bedroom entertainment. And just the, the attention to detail they put in their construction, this uh, the whole uh, door system here, it's it's bracketed in place top and bottom. So this door, it's, it can't, it's just not going to fall off in transit. It just won't, you know. It's all those little things. It's all the um, lack of preventative maintenance that you're going to have to put in this that make it so darn popular. And it's those kind of things that entice me to go camping in a J-Flight. This is, uh, I go camping in a J-Flight. I have a little 26-foot bunkhouse. I'm not just pushing this stuff. I believe in it. This is the type of camper I put my family in. So I trust it to take care of yours. Um, give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.